In 2015, the City of Boston rolled out a Vision Zero initiative, and as part of that, we committed to reducing the amount of distracted driving in the city and having real conversations with our residents about what it means to safely move about the City of Boston. One of the things we were struggling with was how do we actually engage with the public around distracted driving and around speeding and not make it feel like a top-down initiative. And what we discovered uh, through a partnership with Cambridge Mobile Telematics is that we have a way to do uh, engagement uh, in, a, in a way we haven't even tried before, right? So this allowed us to have residents have conversations with themselves about the topic and have government sort of take a step back. Once we had launched the program, we had set up weekly prizes that we were offering people. And what that did was allow us not only to get people excited about uh, downloading and participating, but to allow us to have conversations with people who are already using the app on a weekly basis. So there were about a dozen or 15 people that I would call every week and say, congratulations, you've won. Uh, tell me how you're feeling about this. How did you learn about it? How are you using it? And time and time again, it was coming back from people that they heard about it from a friend or a loved one, uh, or in lots of cases, their spouse, who had heard about it from somebody and had challenged them uh, to see who was a better driver once and for all. So we really found that it was this organic piece that was growing. Sure, we were doing a lot of marketing to get it out there, uh, but by and large, the people that were finding themselves through this, it was sort of a word of mouth spreading that we saw. Once we launched, we saw just sort of the steady tick of users going up and up. Each time we got a new press story, uh, each time we had sort of a, a radio spot or some engagement at a, at a sports arena, we were able to see more and more users getting into the app. So one of the things we recognized in the city of Boston was that we have a lot of policies in place that are really about reducing the amount of driving people are doing. How do we build up transit and bikes and, uh, and pedestrian networks in the city? We have a Vision Zero task force that is comprised of outside advocacy groups as well as stakeholders from government uh, in the Boston area. And we decided early on that we needed to be able to reward not just people that are driving and not just safe drivers, but people that are utilizing the streets in safe ways, people that have already sort of taken to heart those policy changes by riding the bus more, by taking the train more, by biking and walking. And we were able to offer prizes to those people through this competition as well. I think it's important to think about transportation holistically. It's not just safety for one uh, mode, but it's safety for everybody. There's certainly a number of personal stories we heard throughout the competition from residents in the city of Boston uh, and from around in the surrounding community. A couple that jumped out for me. The person that ended up winning the Safest Driver competition was a mother who had a, a daughter who had just turned 16 and had her learner's permit. And as part of that process of learning to be a good driver, they used the app as a way to compete with each other. Uh, it was uh, certainly informative. The mother sort of, sort of was sharing that she hadn't realized some of the habits that she had uh, taken on over the years. And this was a good way of her to sort of break some of those and, and have um, you know, some accountability to her daughter in a way that um, maybe wouldn't have been there without this process. The, one of the other winners in the competition had a newborn, uh, and they were thinking about their habits uh, now with a child in the vehicle, um, and, and this was a way for them to be honest and, and to actually have their spouse check in on them to make sure that they were transporting their newborn around safely. Um, and then personally, uh, my own parents started challenging me on my driving habits. Um, and I'll say that it definitely changed the way that I was using the phone, particularly for accessing uh, music or, or podcasts or whatever it would be, or even talking on the phone in the car. It made me think about those habits much harder and I've certainly uh, adapted the way that I use the phone in the vehicle. Our initial goal was how do we have a conversation about self-driving and allow people to sort of hold up a mirror to themselves about their own driving habits. I think we definitely succeeded there. We were able to get people to talk about this in a way that maybe they hadn't thought about it before. And we heard from people using the app that it had definitely changed their behaviors, that they were thinking more consciously about the habits they had in the vehicle, and it had shifted some of that. We were also able to look at the data, right? So we, we saw among the top 25% of users that people were speeding less, that they were using their phone less, and that they were braking uh, in safer manners than they were before they started using this. We looked at that as a huge success. We had uh, thought about a, a bunch of different ways maybe we could get those behavior changes, and this was certainly a concrete way that actually worked for us. Mm -hmm.